Today I'm going to be talking about Russian Point. I'm going to be talking about uh, Rubin, their most popular model so far, and the Radiance, the newest shoe that Russian Point came out with. I actually previewed the shoe years ago before it came out, and this was kind of their answer to um, a lot of criticism that Russian Point had, that the shoe was too loud, it was too hard, and they came up with the Radiance. Um, they still have this older model, uh, Rubin, and that's always gonna be available. But as you can tell, they're very, very similar. Russian Point Radiance is like a spin-off of Rubin. Did a video on the Rubin a long time ago. Um, so if you wanna check out that, um, I will link that one below. But I'll quickly talk about the Rubin and then I will talk about the Radiance and what the differences are. I haven't had a long time to just kind of experiment with it and stuff, but this is some of the things that I've noticed. So quickly with the Rubin, a lot of people are already uh, very familiar with it. Um, it's one of the most popular models because it's so versatile. It's a pretty low crown. Um, it has a square box, so it has a lot of room for your toes, even though it's flatter. And um, it has a wider platform to balance on. Uh, the shank is pretty hard. So this is a flexible medium shank, which is like their standard, but even their flexible medium is pretty hard. I usually pull this shoe out for people who need a lot of support or um, would like a little bit more balance because of that really flat platform and the really structured shoe. So it is pretty hard. It's very supportive. A couple things that people have been saying about Russian points in general is that it's very loud. It is too hard for dancers to roll through because they are so structured and hard it lasts a lot longer than a lot of other shoes that are softer so um, there is an upside to that obviously the radiance is the answer to the rubin one of the first differences between the russian rubin and the radiance is the satin here so they use like this upgraded satin that doesn't wrinkle as much so it doesn't wrinkle and it actually holds its shape really nicely. But they did a really good job with this shoe because it retains its shape, but it's not like protruding or like it's not like this weird heel shape. So I really like that about this shoe while still keeping the canvas on the inside. So it's not like a nightmare to sew. It's based off the Rubin. So the box shape is very similar. Um, it's still square. It's still low profile. It still holds the, the foot really nicely. But if you look at the platform, you'll see that it's suede. So they added this suede tip right here. And um, you can do this with any point shoe where you can take your, your regular point shoe and take it to the cobbler and get suede put on. Um, and that's to prevent slippage. So if your studio doesn't allow you to have rosin, this is a really great way to get a little bit more traction. But if you take a traditional shoe and get suede put on there, it like sticks out a tiny bit because of the suede, but because this shoe already comes with it, it's a little bit flatter. Um, if you look at the platforms though, um, because it has like the slight softer suede tip, um, the traditional Rubin is a little bit flatter. That's the main difference with the box. Um, now with the shank, the Radiance is actually much softer than the Rubin. This is not always the case, but generally speaking, for dancers in training, harder shoes last a bit longer than a softer shoe. Um, so I have noticed that more people break these quicker than the Rubins, the regular Rubins. So for dancers that are super flexible, need a lot of support, they're probably going to need something a little bit more structured for the Rubin. I've been doing this lately where if you love the Radiance and you love everything about it, it's comfortable, you can move your feet, it's quiet, it's beautiful, but you, find that it doesn't last as long as the Rubin, I would say you could have both and have one be like a, like a workhorse shoe for rehearsal, just to have a shoe that can get you through all of uh, the long rehearsals and then have the Radiance as like a performance shoe because it shows off your feet and it's a lot quieter. You can go back between these two shoes and not have as much of an adjustment period because they are so similar and they're based off the same model. So these two could be the difference 
between doing modern and doing classical. But it is a very pretty shoe. When you put it on, it just makes your feet look gorgeous. It's just, I think the one downside is that a lot more people break these faster than others. On the other hand though, some people make the radiance last longer because um, there's a certain group of people that make softer shoes last longer because, so you could be in that category as well. And in that case, you win everything, you win life. So if you have any questions about any other point shoes, if you want me to do any more reviews, then leave that on the comments. Oh, but another announcement. We're going to release the point shop fitting curriculum that we use for our own fitters to the public. Um, we're gonna be announcing uh, the application process for point shoe fitting, um, just like the training program. So if you're interested, you can email us and then we'll send you the application and then you can apply that way. So if you're curious about learning more about point shoes and um, about a certification, then email us at info at the point shop .com. And if you have any other questions about point shoes, you can leave that on the comments. And as always, I will answer them the best I can. I hope you guys are safe and healthy and I hope you are still dancing. Have a good day.